Hey guys, good morning. Good to have you all back. It's early morning here in the Netherlands because it's going to be another hot day. So I wanted to get an early start on everything. I thought, why not get back to my Rolodex alphabet? I started this in June, but I had to stop because of Junk Journal July. But, uh, you know, I enjoy it and I want to get better at it. Yeah, so we left off with the letter C. I did a coffee for the letter C. Don't even like coffee, but you know. And then cigar bands also don't smoke. <laughs> and C for circles, yes. So the letter D is up. And let me tell you, I have three teams for the letter D. First, uh, I have deer. Yes, the, the animal deer. And then I have uh, daisies or daffodils. Either or, or daisies and daffodils. I have flowers. And then... Um, Denmark. Yes. Why not have the country Denmark? So let's get started. I'm going to start off with Denmark because that's the most difficult one. I did have sort of a look around my stash for some ephemera that went with Denmark. And I thought, well, I could find something. But it was more difficult than I thought. The only thing that I found were these postage stamps. They are lovely though, uh, from Denmark, so I'm going to use these. I actually wanted to use uh, an image of the Little Mermaid on the rock, you know, in Copenhagen. Um, uh, it is in a fairy tale by Hans Christian Andersen and he's from Copenhagen, or at least from Denmark. Couldn't find any. Um, but I want to use a little piece of a map from Denmark. Also, not that um, uh, easy to find. I have this small atlas. It's a small one because I need small pieces. It was just one euro fifty in a thrift shop. Yes, I know. I'm I'm a lucky, lucky person. And then again, I was searching for it, and I was like, I want to have a map, big map, map of Cop of um, Denmark with Copenhagen on it. No, it's probably it is apparently a country that is not that popular because I could only find this. This is the only piece of Denmark. That it's in here in this whole atlas. It's like the forgotten country or something. Don't worry Denmark. I got you. So I'm going to use this. Yeah. Um, because I couldn't find anything else. I also printed a vintage map of Denmark. A small one. Yeah. I found this on the internet. Because the internet has not forgotten Denmark. Denmark. No. No. So I'm going to do this, this and this. And then I have my, um, you know, my scraps. My special scraps, bits and bobs. So I'm going to use that. Yeah? Okay. Um, background first. Okay. Atlas. There you go. I've had this one for a while. Um, where was Denmark again? Oh, Denmark. Where's you at? Here. Am I going to take it out completely? Ooh. I do want to preserve it a little bit because it's a very old one. How old? We don't know. I don't know. It's, it's in the front. Um, yeah, it's this old. I don't know. It doesn't say. But if I look at the sort of papers and such, I believe 50s? 50s or something? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I need this as uh, to be a background. Will the whole of Denmark be on here then? Yeah, I think so. Oops. I do really like these edges, so I want to incorporate these edges. Will we lose a bit of the D? I don't know. Let's find out. I'm just going to put this on here and then have a quick look. I think that worked better. No, the D is just going to be on there. So it will be Denmark and not Ene Marker. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm not going to think about it. I'm just going to glue this piece on. I have my glue page here. Let's have a bigger stick for this. Yep, and there we go. So yeah, Denmark. Never been there. Have you or are you from? 
I've spoken to a person from Denmark, I guess. Yeah, so if you're from Denmark, please say hi. I don't know a lot about it. I do I know a little bit about Sweden and Norway because uh, we have relatives in Norway. Also, I have not been there yet. Because they're my in-laws. No, I haven't been there yet. But we want to go. We wanted to go. Uh, but then, you know, the stuff happened that you couldn't travel. I'm not even going to mention it. But you couldn't travel. I'm cutting it to size. And Sweden, yes. Um, if you're from, from Sweden, hi. Or hey. <laughs> they say hey. And uh, one of my favorite YouTubers is Jonna Jinton. If you don't know who Jonna Jinton is, check her out. Well, you probably do because she has over a million followers on uh, YouTube. Yeah, she makes wonderful videos. It's so, so dreamy. Well, done. No, it's not done. It's not done. But I do want to have a stamp on here. So we have a double one. I like so. Yes. What else? I don't know. I really don't. I'm not going to have a lot on here. Maybe some sort of background underneath. It doesn't really go here. Yeah. I want to have some sort of a sentence or something. Or oh, ledger paper. I have some ledger. Oh yeah, let's do some ledger. I'm going to do some ledger here. On the edge yeah are we yeah i'm gonna cover up a little bit of denmark but that's okay denmark doesn't mind <laughs> yeah i'm gonna have this over here oh it's still so difficult guys i mean you know me i like to collage and uh do stuff but oh let's do this uh, on this smaller piece of paper, I'm having so much difficulty. I, I don't know why that is. Why is that? I don't know. Should be easier, right? Or not. I am probably making it a lot more difficult on myself than is necessary. Okay, this, this, and this. Maybe I should have the postage stamps then over here. Or one on the top. We have this one. Oh yeah, I like the green one. Let's have this one over here and then this one over here. Oh, why not have a little label? Yes, because I have a gazillion. Something in green. Oh, these small ones. Yeah. You know, I like these. Do not cover up Denmark. I really don't want to cover up Denmark. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to have it like so. Oh, we also need the D for Denmark. I have my stamp ready. Yeah. I have it here. And uh, let's have it over there. Yeah. taking out my wrong ink but that's okay D for Denmark or Denmark or Dansk is it Dansk I don't know I don't know you should do more research lovely before you do this Yes, and has a number, so that is always a nice thing to have on here. It's not going to be a uh, very busy, so don't cover up Denmark. Busy collage, just you know, simple one. Then it doesn't even say say Denmark. You don't even know Denmark was on there. Okay. 
I'm gonna have it on like so. Yeah. Like so. Maybe I want some sort of a stamp over here. Let's stamp something. Yeah, let's, let me get my stamps. Taking out Mr. Tim Holtz, of course. Um, something that doesn't say anything in English, just a number. Oh, this, this will work. This will work. Do you want to have this here? I think so. Will it fit? Yep. Took out my, my other ink. I really prefer this ink to the stays on one. Don't know exactly why, but I'm doing it wrong again. Yeah, I just I just like it better. I don't know really. I really don't know how. Oh, stars. Let's do some stars because stars also not a language. Where are you gonna put them? I don't know, here on the bottom. Yeah. I think we're done. Let's do the other side. I think I want to use the other piece of sort of map that I have uh, printed. Yes. Um, do we need to make the holes first? No, I've decided not to do that. I'm just gonna punch the holes later. Doesn't really matter. I have a hole punch for this, guys. If you have not seen me do this, is it the exact uh, size? No. I have a hole punch for Rolodex art. Yeah. Cards art. It's not art. Not yet, anyway. I'm just practicing. I do like it, yeah. I feel I am getting a, a little bit better at it because uh, I've been watching a lot of Marguerite Miller. She does sort of index cards and Rolodex cards really, really well. Okay, then Mark, I need more um, of these, of course. Let's have a double one. Ooh, let's just do a double one, yeah. And uh, another piece of uh, my beautiful ledger in the background here. Yep. Don't think about it. Just do it. this here I do want something else something in red a uh, label 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 of course we want a label uh, let's see oh can we do this oh we could we could there are a lot of red labels in here but oh very big ones oh I like this this is small Or the one that is a tiny bit bigger. Like so? No. Make up your mind, love. I'm gonna have this over here. I'm gonna stamp it with something. Don't know what. I'm gonna stamp it. This one over there, and then I'll have this one go off the page a little bit. Oh, my D! <laughs> we need the letter D! Yeah. Uh, D, where are you? Will that sort of... Oh, will it fit on the... 
and then have this sort of down here. Hmm. Or will it fit here? Oh, it will. <laughs> it will. Well, I told you I was going to stamp on it. Yes, D. For Denmark, can we flip this over? No, it will, it will cover the beautiful post-it stamp. Yes, and uh, another stamp with numbers. Let's see. Uh, oh, the, here are a lot of numbers. Come out! Come out! There you go. Where am I standing on? Oh, it's it's the stars. Number here. I'm gonna do this. Number there. Are you gonna do stars? Of course, I'm gonna do stars because stars are my, stars are my new favorite. We're gonna put them over here. Denmark. Yes. Uh, let's do daisies and daffodils. For this one, I have these beautiful vintage book pages that have daisies on them. Yes, and also, um, I think that's a daisy as well, isn't it? I don't know. I don't know. And that's also a daisy. These are very small ones. I think I want to, ha to have this as a sort of a background with something else. And then I also have one postage stamp with daisies on them. So I'm going to use that. And then I was thinking something blue, something blue. Um, I haven't used my Sandra labels in a long time, so I'm going to use this one as well. And a piece of background. Let's have the German law papers, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to do this one first. I do want the last piece of this days to be on here. Yep. There you go. I'm gonna glue this on and then I'm gonna glue this on. Yeah? Okay. Sounds like a plan to me, love. Do you wanna take a little bit off the top? Just a bit. Just a bit. Okie dokie. The Dutch name for daisies is Margrietje, which sounds almost like my name. People sometimes in the Netherlands call me Margriet. I get really angry because that's not my name. Or even worse, Margreet. No. <laughs> the only one that can call me Margreet is my daddy. <laughs> He's, he says it in a very loving way. If he's really angry with me, well, when I was a young girl, he was like, Margaret. <laughs> my complete and full name. Um, it, is, it is not a Dutch name. It is an English name. I am well aware of that. Uh, I was named after my grandmother, who is, uh, who is Dutch, but um, that's a whole, whole story. She lived in the, in the UK uh, for quite a long time. But that's a story for another time, yeah. <laughs> well, shall we flip this over? I'm gonna. I'm just gonna. Yeah, and then funny story, my cat, my beautiful little girl cat, cat is called Daisy. Right, so, um, where was my postage stamp? Don't know anymore. Uh, I, I am going to have a label on here. I don't want to have this word on here because it doesn't say anything about daisies or anything. Uh, 
no maybe here no so i think i'm going to have the a big label here yeah okay and then in the meantime thinking about where my postage stamp is these are stickers that is very convenient well yes and no uh yes it's convenient if you don't have glue at hand but me and stickers we don't have the best track record because i have a problem with taking the backings off i have a device for that yes i have this big pin and then i just sort of stick the pin in and then it comes off so it does work i want to have this over the page a little bit probably like so i'm gonna flip it over well, we can because we didn't do the other side yet yeah so really where oh, <laughs> where is the postage stamp no i can't i really cannot find it i cannot find it anymore let's have the d on here first yeah let's just do that like so big d the big d oh here it is it was upside down that's why i couldn't find it d for daisy I need a third blue element. I am well aware of that. I have this piece that has some writing on it in blue. I'll we'll have a piece of down there. Let's do that. Ooh, or uh, we could also have some, um, what's I'm gonna call it? I'm gonna put that on here anyway. Washi tape. some stamping in blue this on here and then this daisy over here am i still in frame i have to zoom in when i do um my rolodex cards oh i do like this yeah washi tape or inking i'm gonna go for inking well, stamping, that is. Nautical blue. Why not? I did have my stamps out, right? Yeah. Are we going to have like four and a half on here? We are. I should check if I have anything with flower, a flower stamp. Of course you have flower stamps, you have a gazillion. Let me get some. You know, a gazillion stamps, but none of them are daisies. Uh, this, I believe, I, uh, is a sunflower, but I'm gonna have it as a daisy today. Yep. I think I wanna have something underneath because I think I'm going to have this slightly off the page. Well, that looks like nothing. That's better. That's a bit better. Where else? A bit on the... Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's do the other side. For the other side, I fussy cut a daisy. Yes. So there's no daffodils on here. It's going to be daisies. Yeah. And I also really want to use this label because I think that looks magnificent. Um, let's do some background pages. Mm, yeah. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. These papers are so very brittle. Oh, it's going to be upside down. Oh. That's okay. going to be in the background anyway where are my scissors They're here Got 
that is not straight at all, love. No, not even a little bit straight. No. Okie dokie, I need a, another piece of paper here. Some more of the German. Or, oh, let's have this. Oh, yeah, let's have this. Very small sort of grid paper. Oh, my glue's done. Yep. Thank you for your surface glue. So and now I want to have this on here. That's completely going to cover this whole bit. And then this. does need a little bit more over here. We have ledger paper. <laughs> we have lots of ledger paper. Yeah, gonna have that over there. Well, th 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 this one was done, love. <laughs> Throw it in the bin. There you go. I've been hoarding ledger paper because it is so beautiful, but it is so expensive um, that I was afraid to use it. But I feel I have enough now so that I can actually start using some of it. No, it looks better like this. I have this one on. This is a label from the Summer's Bounty Kit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Told you I was going to use it again and again and again. Oh, we need a D. I need a D. Over here. Can we still fit the D on now? Don't have it upside down. Yeah. Let's first do that. Before I do anything else, hopefully this paper will take the ink well. Oh yeah. See, I like this. I like this better than the stays on. Don't get me wrong, I like stays on. And then I need something here, right? Yeah, of course you do. Of course you do. There you go, Daisy. It is on here. My scissors are sticky. Yeah. What do we need down here? Well, a stamp. A stamp, of course. Yeah. So I want uh, it to be perfection. <laughs> and then I was thinking, have this over here. Yeah. Well, let's. Let's just do that. Perfection. And. I need something underneath because I'm going to go off page. Do not want to stamp on my mat. Nope. And then this. I love it. Yeah. Well, we have one more card to go. The last one is going to be there. Yeah. So I fuzzy cut these two. Yeah. Cute, right? Yeah. Um, this re really doesn't fit all the way on the page, but we're, we'll manage it. I'm going to start with this one. Yeah. And I also found this beautiful stamp with a deer on it. So I also want to use this. And for the colors, I found these. These are stickers that I've made. A um, couple of videos ago, well, a lot of videos ago, in uh, in June somewhere, I guess. Yeah. Uh, and I want to have something on the background. I'm not going to do a lot of different things on the background. I'm just going to cover the whole bit probably with um, this. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. I have another big stick, don't I? Yeah. Of course you do. Up. 
I'm just covering this whole bit and then putting the paper on. You missed a spot. Yep. I'm not going to flip it over because I have no clue what I'm going to do on the other side for a background. So I'm just going to cut all around it. It's very hard to find um, images, small images, that will fit on a Rolodex card. Yeah, I have lots of fussy cuts, but like uh, much bigger than, um, than would fit on this small card. Okay, well this is the background for now, because I think I also want to add these. And then this one, the stamp. Where are, we, where are we going to fit the D? Over here, will that fit? Yeah, oh, I guess so. I'm gonna use my stickers. Because that's why I made them. Does this trick work with this sticker? Yeah. Also works with this sticker. I am thinking very hard where, uh, what the video was that I made these. I don't know. I'll find it and I'll link it below. Yeah. DIY, DIY stickers. And now I'm using them because you should. Okay, and then uh, look at that. I love this one. Yeah, really nice. And it goes really well with all the colors on here. Like so? Oh, yeah, the D. Let's do the D first. I'm gonna do the D first because otherwise we don't have any room for the D anymore. There you go, D. Tada. Yeah, then I have this one on here. I need another yellow element somewhere. Don't know what though. Do we have yellow labels? Maybe Sandra has some. Let's let's have a look. Uh, it's brownish. We could do brownish, but I want it to be a little bit more yellowish. Oh, that could work. Oh, and this one that says book 710. But also, I have, I'm sorry guys, I need to check really quick. I have these boxes. Ooh, there's another yellow sort of postage stamp with a telephone on it. Doesn't make any sense. Check your small boxes with stickers. These are not the stickers. Then it's probably the last box. Yeah. Yeah, see, oh, see, look. Yeah. I already have uh, some of them cut out in this color. And also with book seven. See? Yeah. My memory serves me well. So yeah, I'm going to have book seven, ten on here as well. Yeah. Okay. Now I don't need to cut them out. I am not going to have it touch anything, just be on there. Please glue work with me today. There you go. 
banana on this one. Maybe some... I don't, don't know, don't know. First put this one on. And take off the cap of your glue. Because that works a lot better. Oh yeah, I do like it. But it does need a little bit over here. Yeah, still. Uh, I had this one, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to have a piece of it on here. Just for the color. No extra stamping. No extra stamping. Not on this one. In a corner. What? Um, there's two. Oh yeah. Do we like it? We do. Let's do the other side. For the other side, I want to use this fella and this big label. Guess where this label came from? Yeah. yeah you know. And I have this washi sticker with deer. Thinking this will go sort of here in the background, then this here, a D over here because it lends itself perfectly, and then some paper in the background. Yeah, okay. Because I want to have these small deer here, I do not want to have, I think, letters underneath because that will be a bit much. So I want to have this piece over here, which is blank ish, blank ish. Um, Glue would be nice. Yeah. Oh, my chair is having his hoo-hoo moment again. Can you hear it in the background? <laughs> Hopefully you can because it is so annoying. I can fix it for a little bit. Yeah, I just have to <laughs> shake it. <laughs> I have to shake, shake the chair. Yeah, I'm going to do that real quick. Well, the chair... Heard me overheard me saying I can fix it by shaking it and now it's like no you can't <laughs> so even the shaking of the chair doesn't work anymore they it's such a comfortable chair and I love it um, and we bought it on sale very cheap and then you see when you buy something very cheap and it's like too good to be through true then it's too good to be through True, honey. Oh, I'm sorry. Sometimes English words. No. So, background. This one on here. I am, however, going to ink this because I want this to stand out a little bit more against the neutral background. Also, before you put this on, you should put the sticker on, lovely. Yeah, 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 I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I just wanted to ink this. See, that looks a lot better, a lot better. Yeah. So, let's see, is there a lot of white border on here? And will it show up a lot? I think it's going to be fine. Yep. And then we're going to have this one on. Like so. This is going to be a quick one. Well, that's a good thing because uh, if you see my video yesterday and the day before, the day before was a very long one, like 51 minutes or something like that. And I was really worried. But you all loved it. So sometimes I don't know the algorithm. What happens if it is the video or I, I, I don't know yet. So yesterday's video, I was like, I'm not going to have it 51 minutes long because that was way too long. Yeah. And then it was 52 minutes. <laughs> I am. I am sorry. I don't keep track of time. I try to. I really, really try to. 
but uh, somehow I get sort of lost in um, in the fun, basically, because I have fun. Oh yeah, I absolutely love this one. Am I still in frame? Sure, of course you are. You're very, very close by. I am very sorry, dear. Oh dear, I have to cut up your legs over here. But that's okay. Do we like it? A bunch. Yeah. Okay, guys, I am going to uh, ink all around them, cut the holes in, and then see the, the final result. Yeah. Here they are. I love them. Um, if I do say so myself, I think I'm getting better at this. <laughs> uh, because the first couple of ones were, let's be honest, not that good. Uh, so let's start with the for Denmark. Yeah, with the map in the background. Like it. And then on the other side, don't like it as much as the, as the front. Or, well, as this one. I love this one. Yeah. Then the daisies. There you go. Really cute. Yeah, I like it with the stamps on there. And then this one, again, like this side better than the other one. Really like it. Yeah. And then the deer. Oh dear. Yeah. Uh, probably the deers are my favorites. Yeah. And I like both equally. Yeah. So I like this very, very much. And then this one and this one. And this one. This, not so much a favorite, and this, not so much a favorite. Oh, I only don't die, don't really love this one. The ones, yeah. Uh, you're probably gonna have questions. What punch are you using? Yeah, it's this one. Fast and creative. I don't, I, you probably can find it on Amazon. It makes uh, the, the holes for the Rolodex. Yeah, it's uh, a good one. I'm very happy I found this one. Guys, thank you for hanging out with me today. Uh, hopefully, this is uh, less than 50 minutes. I have no clue. We'll, we'll find out. Uh, I'm going to do uh, another one next week with the letter E. I don't know what I'm going to use for E, but we'll find out. Have a lovely day wherever you are. I will try to link the video where I made the stickers below. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.